Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and oh, hi, everybody. What is going on? It is Gail Riot here, and welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Don Machi Battle Chronicle video. And today, we are here for yet another hint for the first anniversary story for Don Machi Battle Chronicle, and the hint is 51st floor now let's talk about this hint let let's talk about what it could mean and of course let's break down the possibilities of course if you guys go on to enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like down below subscribe to the channel for more content and let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below i'm curious to see what you guys have to say down below now the 51st floor means well it's in the dungeon right of course this is something to do with the dungeon it definitely seems like and of course one of the key things that you guys need to know is that right now in the story the loki and freya familiars have only managed to get up until the 59th floor at the maximum level beyond that has been pretty much only explored by the zeus and hera familiars with them only getting up to, I think it was around the 72nd or 73rd floor, I think it is. So, right now, where we're going to, effectively, in terms of the floor count, is pretty much near the max that the Loki and Freya Familiars have ever explored. Now, along with that, the 51st to the 58th floors are also known as the Dragon's Veil. Uh, so obviously this kind of goes into and links into one of the key points that we saw uh, or one of the hints we saw yesterday. I say one of the hints. The only hint we saw yesterday, the Immortal Evil Dragon. Now, obviously we all thought Nidhogg, we all thought Delphine, we all thought OEBD, but, but the 51st floor gives us yet another dragon actually to work with that I personally completely forgot. But some people in my Discord and of course in the replies to this comment section actually acknowledged. And that is of course Cadmus. It's a strong dragon monster that is the strongest monster on the 51st floor. And aside from Monster Rexes, it is one of the strongest monsters. In terms of strength, it is stronger than Udeus. Now, it was only mentioned in Sword Oratoria Volume 1. We've never actually officially seen it in the anime or in other light novels. In fact, in Danmimo, I don't think we've ever even faced Cadmus, actually, funnily enough. So, this game will be the first time we actually take a look at Cadmus in some way, shape, or form. And I do believe that we'll probably see an irregular version of Cadmus. Because, it, obviously, if it's a regular Cadmus that they find, right... It's not really going to be anything too hard for the likes of a Fataral or Eyes or any of these guys to face, technically speaking, right? It should be fairly easy, but you know, even though it's stronger than Odeus, but I mean, if you add in all the familiar members together and everything, this would be a very easy mob to face off against, technically. I assume what we're going to see here is probably an irregular version of Cadmus. And I think if we see an irregular version of Cadmus, a much, much stronger version of Cadmus in some way, shape, or form, I think we have an idea of what the final boss might look like in some way, shape, or form. Not to mention, as a second point, what they could do with Cadmus is also bring him to the upper floors, maybe in some way, shape, or form, or even on outside of Orario in some way, shape, or form. That is going to be something that will be very interesting to see how they execute that because i assume it is going to be taking place in orario i mean we've seen the image right i mean we keep seeing the uh, image of orario uh, and the background of orario being this purplish background of course and you know we're seeing uh the lighting go darker and stuff surely that means that we're gonna be dealing with a monster in the overworld not in the dungeon necessarily so We'll have to wait and see on that front, of course, right? But it does seem like the hints are pointing towards us going up against Cadmus, uh, which is a dragon monster. Now, again, like I said, I think it'll be an irregular Cadmus, not necessarily just a regular old Cadmus, because I, again, I, like I said, I think it'll be too easy otherwise uh, for our uh, heroes to face off against. Well, not necessarily your Hestia Familia, but your Loki and her Freya Familias primarily, I would say, right? Surely it would be very, very easy. Now, if you guys want to not get spoiled, look away right now. But in the Volume 1 uh, manga of Sword Oratoria, the Volume 1 manga of Sword Oratoria, they actually gave us an indication as to what he would look like. And this is it. 
Uh, obviously, I didn't give you guys uh, a countdown. I do apologize on that front. But this is technically how he looks like effectively, um, which it looks really cool. I must admit, I'm, I'm excited to see how he looked like in game, of course, right? But we do have some evidence of how he would look like and how he would uh, uh, be like potentially in game. We'll have to wait and see, of course, the coloring scheme and everything because it doesn't. I'm not sure if it's actually going to be a black color. <laughs> I love how we've all been like black dragon, black dragon. Oh, Nidhogg, black dragon. Technically, Delphine's also a black dragon. Most likely, these are your immortal evil dragons. And what should be not even a black dragon at all in any way, shape, or form? Not one eyed black dragon, not Delphine, not Nidhogg. It's too funny, man. And Canvas is some other color entirely but watch him be like yellow instead or something i don't know uh we'll have to wait and see actually i'm quite curious to see what they'll color him because technically like i said we've really never seen cadmus in the anime or even in Dan Mimo. i don't remember ever facing a cadmus boss in Dan Mimo. no i don't think we've ever faced it so it'll be very interesting to see how he'll look like and what color he'll be in game of course it'll be very very interesting to see now now this kind of also solidifies that Hestia Familia has to be postseason for Hestia Familia. I don't see a, a Hestia Familia helping out that's before season four, even I would say. It has to be season four or beyond Hestia Familia to be able to help out with Cadmus. There's just no way I can see Bell being a participant against the uh, Ca against Cadmus and actually being of use. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, they, 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 they'd have a hard time convincing me. They'd have a hard time convincing me. I know, I mean, come on, you know, you guys already know how much we saw him struggle against a Juggy, right? Yes, it was an irregular Juggy, but it was a Juggy nonetheless, and it was only a fl level four Juggy, I think it was. So, like, I mean, come on. Like, this is something we've we've said many a times. Like, a lot of people said, like, oh, they should have used eyes for that whole story, uh, story arc with season four so that, you know, their relationship gets better. But people don't realize that if it was eyes in that situation, they'd absolutely run through the shit. They'd run through that shit like mm, hotcakes, basically, right? With uh, with a hot knife, you know? Um, so you, it, it is, it's, it, it will be a challenge to introduce Belle in this sort of story i think it is going to be a focus on loki familiar and freya familiar i think i think that is going to be the big focus here there is a small chance that bell could still be a player in this story but i it has to be a season four post a post season four story bell there's just i don't see anything else i i don't see anything else even making sense in this situation in my opinion so let me know what you guys think of course i want i will be making some more videos in the next uh, couple of days of course alongside you know obviously updating you guys on what the hints are of the day and stuff like that but uh, let me know your thoughts on today's hint do you guys agree it is going to be cadmus not going to be cadmus if not what do you guys think it's going to actually be but the the hint today 51st floor yesterday isn't immortal evil dragon i think there's a good chance we might get the familiars tomorrow maybe or the a familiar name tomorrow that'll signify who's the actual familiar we're going to be following in the storyline so let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you guys so much for watching this video leave a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you all in the next one take it easy everybody Bye bye